Hey everyone, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than usual because I'm flying off to Barcelona in a couple of days. But still, I'm going to try and make a little video for you. Still need to bleed the rear brake and the thumb brake setup. I need to fit the chain and some other little bits and bobs here. So in this episode, we're going to just focus on them things. Let's crack on. <laughs> So, first port of call is to be interrupted by the generator. So like we spoke about in the last episode, I never actually got round to uh, crimping the brake line, meaning that it's loose and I can move it around and get that positioning right. So uh, what I'm going to do now is put a bit of masking tape around it, mark the top so I know where the uh, banjo needs to be facing, and uh, take it back to the shop to crimp it. So we'll do that first and then we will move on to actually filling it with fluid and bleeding that system, so... Drum roll, please! Right, now I've got this off, I'm going to go and Throw it at the uh, the crimping guy, get him to crimp it up just so we can get this back on as quick as possible. So, let's go and do that first. Uh, uh, e, uh, oh. uh, uh, oh. Yeah. We got it. I'm so excited. If this works, I will be a happy man. So let's do this. So now we've got all the lines actually uh, plumbed in and tightened up, but what I'm going to do now is crack the nipple on the uh, rear brake and then put some fluid in and let it flow through. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy that I managed to get the brakes done, front and back. To me, this is a big thing because obviously these parts aren't meant to fit and I'm making brake systems work on bits that don't fit. So like, to me, that's an achievement. Um, it's also like an important part to do before we actually start the bike. So now we've got that out of the way, we can actually look forward to actually getting the bike started. So I don't know if you can see, but we've got this here. This here is the throttle cable and it's not not connected at the moment it needs to go in, in the top of the uh, carb here so what I'm going to do is route this so it tucks through nicely I don't want it to be like dangled down and all that sort of thing not restricted in any way the anteater tongue We're doing. Right, so now we've got that done, we just got to do the throttle side of it. Um, I've had new throttle cables and I've had a new throttle control unit, so I've got to make some adjustments for that. I don't know how it actually works, but 
it's just one of them jobs like you just figure it out as you go along, so let's do that. Meh. <laughs> So now we've got that sorted, I think it's onto the final piece, which is actually fitting the chain. So we're gonna flip this bike around and then explain to you what we need to do. So, here we have the chain. As you may know from the previous video, one of the previous videos, this is not long enough because we extended the swing arm by quite a lot. So, the way I'm going to go around that is two chains. Bling bling, mother trucker. What I propose to do is fit the one chain, get it where it needs to be. I think it's about about a foot too short. Get the second chain, join the two chains together. I'm going to have to just take about a foot or so off this chain. My friend has kindly lent me a chain tool. He's on his way over now. We are going to split this chain down as much as we need, join the two together. So yes, there is going to be two splits, two joins in the chain until I can work out a better way. For, uh, for, but for now, this is the way we're going to do it. Let's do that now. So, even though this video was a short and sweet one, we've managed to get quite a bit done. I'm quite happy with all the process we've made. So, next week I'm probably going to take another look at the electrics, just because oh, it's so close to being able to start the bike. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to end the video now. If you could always like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I shall see you in next week's video. Peace.